want to talk for a moment about the planning process for unification. There, I think, has been a lot of myth circulated in the community, and I'd like to um, give what I believe to be the facts of, of the case. During the past year, many people have asked us, what is the plan, where is the plan for a unified school system? The answer to the question involves really two components or two plans. First, there is an educational reform effort plan that our community must undertake so all children are prepared to enter the workforce or college upon graduation and simply be prepared for life. For the past five months, QE has been working with educators, parents, business and civic leaders, and other concerned citizens in open forums to develop a plan for school reform initiatives that will help both school systems or a unified school system improve their test scores, graduation rates, and other educational outcomes. The Education Task Force, which has been chaired by Walter Hopgood, plans to complete its work in the coming weeks and will present its recommendations to both the Valdosta City and the Lowndes County School Boards for their consideration and also present the plan and recommendations to our entire community. The other plan people reference is the responsibility of both school boards. Unfortunately, leaders from both school systems have sent a resounding no to even discussing a school unification integration plan with each other or even to define a formal planning process on how they would handle their responsibility in unification should the voters approve the referendum on November the 8th. That's unfortunate as this stance has created an environment where rumors, fear, misinformation are often confused with the facts. We do know that state law, Georgia law, says that both school systems will continue to operate independent of each other until the Lowndes County School Board makes the necessary arrangements in conjunction, of course, with the city school board to operate the city school system. The planning process will take time, a lot of hard work, and requires the involvement of the Valdosta School Board before the plan is reviewed and approved by state and federal governments. Since both school boards have declined to address this issue, we can only examine the precedent established in other communities in Georgia and other nearby states where they have voted to unify their public school systems. We'll be hearing more about that, that first-hand experience uh, from Dr. Jenkins in a few minutes. Typically, both school boards will appoint a committee to create a transition plan for countywide school for a countywide school system. The planning committee will, will discuss and make recommendations on a variety of issues, such as defining a new countywide school board, school attendance zones, school board member. Uh, districts, academics, finances, and staffing. Once finalized and approved by both school boards, this plan will ensure our community has a smooth transition to a unified school system. Finally, I'd like to talk about, for a moment, facts versus emotion. This obviously is a, a heartfelt issue uh, by everybody in our community, uh, but I think whether you are for it or against it, I would simply ask you to be guided by the facts and not by fear or untruths. As many of you in this room tonight understand, this vote has created a lot of fear, misinformation, inaccurate information on what will happen on November the 9th, the day after the unification vote, if that referendum is approved. Initially, nothing changes. Nothing changes. As earlier stated, if the school unification referendum passes, as Georgia law requires, the Lowndes County School Board must make the necessary arrangements to operate the Valdosta City Schools before unification actually occurs. The Valdosta City School Board has a vote in the process a, a, and a voice in the process. Both school boards will come together and develop a plan for a unified system. Both school systems continue to operate as they do today until both school boards and the state and federal, federal government agree on that plan. This planning process will ensure a smooth transition to 
a unified school system for our children and our community. Based on state law and what other communities that have unified their school systems have, have experienced, here are some of the facts to consider 